With electric vehicles becoming so prevalent, battery cooling systems are a hot topic. Compact and lightweight cooling sleeves extend battery life and protect them in case of impact. So, I asked myself, how can we take advantage of additive manufacturing technologies to improve the design of the battery sleeves? Hello everyone, Yuki from Entopology here, and today we're going to take a look at a battery cooling sleeve and see how we can improve its design by increasing thermal efficiency to increase the battery life. Let's get into it! Our goal here is to increase the thermal efficiency of this battery cooling sleeve, minimize hot spots, and better regulate the thermal distribution in the solid. And one of the methods we can do in Anthropology is creating a single domain heat exchanger with a gyroid TPMS core. To start off, we first imported our assembly and converted them into implicit bodies. We then took our solid sleeve and shelled it out. Now, with a couple of Boolean operations, we can get our design space, aka the inner volume of this shell, and start doing some work on it. So we first started by infilling our inner volume with some wall gyroids. We have a lot of design inputs we can play with here starting with the cell size. We can control the unit cell size in each direction, x, y, or z, and they do not have to be the same value. In this case, we're making our gyroids longer in the x direction to give some added directionality to the flow. Now we have defined our unit cell size, we can also control the orientation of our gyroids. Right now it's going straight from left to right, but maybe we want to orient it from inlet to outlet. By simply adding a plane, we can use it to orient our gyroids, which we can now make it face inlet to the outlet, adding some favorable properties to the flow. Lastly, we can change our wall thickness. We can change the thickness of the walls based on thermal transfer properties, areas of high fatigue, locations where corrosion or oxidation may happen, high pressure regions, or for the manufacturability. Anthropology can control every parameter of our structure and create smooth transitions between areas with thin walls and thick walls using fields. Now these fields can be derived from points, planes, or even thermal simulation data and use them to further optimize the part. Now with our gyroid structure optimized and complete, we can then join it with the shelled part with a Boolean union operation to complete our part. Now if needed or desired, we can easily add a fillet between the gyroid and shell for increased structural, fluid, and or thermal performance and to help that manufacturability. And to finish off, we can then mesh and export our part out for manufacturing. Now why would you want to do this? Increase heat transfer, reduce pressure drop, reduce the size, and consolidate an assembly into one part to improve reliability. Fewer interfaces result in fewer potential areas of failure. Now, especially when looking at electric vehicles, specifically their batteries, we're always finding ways to add more batteries and increase their efficiency to increase miles per charge, while increasing its thermal efficiency improve the structural integrity of the battery cooling sleeve. Adding in those gyros improves its thermal performance and improves the structural performance, adding a secondary benefit of protection for the batteries if the vehicle was to get in an accident. I hope you got a good understanding of how you can increase the thermal and structural aspects of a battery cooling sleeve with Anthropology. Thank you, and I hope you learned something new today. If you want to download this on top file, go to anthropology.com under resources, videos, find us on top live, and at the bottom, just fill out this form and download the end top file. If you want to learn more about Anthropology, contact us by filling out a form to speak with an end top expert. Lastly, check out our support page at support.anthropology.com and type your questions here if you have any other questions. Thank you.